This week in Jamaica now, the cartel controversy. Opposition MP Lisa Hanna faces death threats on social media after calling for discussions on banning the music of the convicted artist. The police say those people making threats could be charged. And producer Cordell Scatterborell has rejected suggestions that cartel's music should be pulled from the airwaves. Prime Minister Andrew Holness warns that additional crime-fighting measures are coming. Trade unions vow to fight the government over pension reform. And sprint legend Usain Bolt is the Gleaners 2016 Man of the Year. I'm Damian Mitchell and this is Jamaica Now. The police are now reviewing security arrangements for opposition MP Lisa Hanna amid death threats made against her through social media. Ms. Hanna has received several threats after calling for a discussion on whether the music of incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel should be banned from the public radio. And the police are warning social media users that under the Cybercrimes Act, they may be charged for issuing threats online. Meanwhile, music producer Cordell Scatterborell says the Southeast St. Anne MP Lisa Hanna was ill-advised to call for a discussion on whether to ban Cartel's music. Borrell also says Hanna should note that corruption may not be involved in the recording of songs behind bars, as it could be done during the phone calls to which prisoners are entitled. The opposition spokesman on health, Horace Daly, is maintaining that the government has been negligent in responding to the issue of the noxious fumes at the Cornwall Regional Hospital, despite revelations that he was aware of the problem in 2007 when the PNP was in power. Mr. Daly has admitted that the issue of the poor air conditioning unit now causing the noxious fumes was brought to his attention when he was health minister 10 years ago. However, he could not immediately recall what action was taken at the time. Maybe it was fixed, and I will check and call you back, you know. But it was not a crisis. The minister is trying to deflect this thing as if it was, you know, because it's a long time it's happening. No, it has become a crisis under his watch. And therefore, he has to get into crisis mode and have the thing rectified. And he was tardy. He was late in responding. And as I said, it is negligence. The health minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton, says the issue is now being addressed. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has warned that additional measures are coming in the clampdown on crime. Mr. Holness has not revealed details but says the government will be insisting on consistent and persistent efforts by the police. Just over a week ago, the government announced the use of preventative detentions of potential offenders among measures to help contain crime. It also announced that tins should be removed from all public passenger vehicles. The Prime Minister has sought to defend the move against the tins on public passenger vehicles, saying it will help to reduce crimes such as abductions and rapes. And the Prime Minister has appealed to trade unions to continue negotiations amid concerns about impending changes to pensions for public sector workers. The government has committed to the International Monetary Fund to introduce new legislation which will require civil servants to contribute 5% of their salaries to their pensions as well as increase the age of retirement from 60 to 65, among other things. However, trade unions say they are prepared to go the distance against any action by the government that will put civil servants at a disadvantage. The Education Minister, Royal Reed, has indicated that the chairman of the board of the Hampton School, Trevor Blake, and two other board members are to be removed. Reed says he has concerns about transparency and credibility of the board. At a meeting last week with Reed, the board admitted that it did not thoroughly investigate the reasons behind the decision of Hampton Principal Heather Murray to appear at a December court hearing for Rupert Clark, a Moravian pastor charged with having sex with an underage girl. The board meeting followed an apology from Mr. Blake to Mr. Reed for a controversial letter he released to the press. In the letter, Mr. Blake contradicted the Education Minister, saying there was no agreement between the board and the Education Ministry to have Mrs. Murray go on compassionate leave amid a backlash for her appearance at Clark's hearing. Sprint legend Usain Bolt has won the 2016 Gleaner Man of the Year Award. This is the third time he is being named Man of the Year. It first happened in 2008 and again in 2009, and Bolt says he is equally elated this time around. Oh, it's good to, to, to get to the top and stay at the top by yourself. So it's a great feeling, and I'll continue trying to do great things. Even outside of track and field, you never know I might win it in something else. For me, it's always been big to recognize him by your country, especially the Gleaner. You know what I mean? He's been around for years, and they have seen so many different great people throughout the year so for them to be keep awarding me this award is just a magnificent feeling i'm really happy and proud of myself that i keep doing high standards 
and living up to the standard of a cleaner. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at leanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Damian Mitchell, and before we go, reactions from the streets of Kingston. Should the music of convicted dancehall artist Vibes Cartel be banned? But the World War song for still a play, you can't stop that. You have to make a get a you live, is it? Money for me. The World War song for play, man. I don't want to stop a man full for. You don't know? I'm a Christian, and it's the bad impact on most students and society. So we no matter where we are, because if all Bob Marley is dead and he still a play music, but as an artist behind bars, we still have give him a chance. We are play some of them good songs, them, but the bad ones, them, we are going to slap them off. All of them behind the bar, we are not blush him. I am a teacher. Yeah, but no out of that tone. We don't support that.